Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Pryoxys and I'm back with another video. And in this one here, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Jose Aldo, whether you're playing ranked quick match or you're playing against bots, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, man. You guys see he does have five star stand up. As you see here, the punch speed is 94, the punch power is 93, then the accuracy is good, the block and the head movement. Um, now, you see the switch stance is only at 80, but takedown defense is very high. Kick speed, kick power is very high as well. And then we go over to the uh, grappling stats, and um, everything is, I mean, you don't really want to grapple with Jose Aldo. He's mainly a defensive type of grapple, like he wants to anti-grapple, because as you see, he has the takedown of 87. But if you go back over here, the takedown defense is, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? 98, okay? Now, uh, submission defense 96, ground strike is 91, clinch strike is 91, and then the clinch control is 91 as well. Then we go over to his health stats. Now his cardio is 91, which isn't bad, but isn't great. The chin is 94, which is good. The body 91. The leg health is 96, and then his recovery is a 91. Now, we go over to his top moves, and you see that rear low kick is a level 5 strike. The Muay Thai combinations is level 5. Lead flying double knee is level 5. And then the wrestling get-ups. And then the lead body hook is a level 5. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, Jose Aldo is like the perfect fighter for my style when I want to strike, okay? Now, going to go ahead and jump into practice mode and look at each and every one of his moves individually so we can get a deeper analysis of how to use Jose Aldo, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go here, click start, scroll down to game help, view moves, and look at that jab, and then the cross, level 4 on those lead hook, level 3. Look at that, his jab cross lead hook is money, money. Then the rear hook is level 3, level 3 uppercuts, okay, body jab, the body cross is level 4, the lead hook to the body level 5. Oh my, the rear hook, body hook is level 4. Aldo boxing is amazing, but it is in real life, so I expect that to be reflected upon UFC 4. He has the 6 to 12 elbows, he has the elbow with the lead and the rear, and I will utilize those based on my opponent if I need be. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to his kicks, and you will see the lead calf kick is level 3, the rear calf kick is going to be a level 4 strike, and the roundhouses, as you see, to the body or the head, those are uh, going to be 3 star strikes. Okay, the lead front kick, one star, one star. Okay, and you see two stars going down here with the front kicks to the body. Uh, lead side kick, oblique kick. Now, lead body knee is three star. The body knee with the rear is going to be four stars. Okay, then uh, lead leg kick, three, four stars, and then the rear is five question marks. Okay, okay, so uh, basically, guys, a lot of these strikes, I know they're high level, but me personally, I don't utilize them because I feel like they put me in a position to where the consequences are much greater than the, uh, you know, what I'd get for landing it. But we go over to the clinch and uh, not really nothing that, that stands out personally for me with the clinching. I mean, he has some decent clinching, but personally, I'm not going to be clinching with Jose Aldo. Then uh, takedowns again, I'm not going to be shooting takedowns with Jose Aldo, so I'll skip past this. But if you guys want to shoot takedowns, man, here you guys go. Okay. Ground straight to ground hooks is level three going all the way down no matter what strike he throws on the ground. <sighs> Go to the submissions. He has level one arm bars, level three guillotines, level three shoulder locks, and orthodox chokes is level two. And then you go to his combos. He has boxing combos level four. Kickboxing level one, and then the Muay Thai combinations are going to be level five. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump into some ranked matches, guys. Now, depending on my matchups that I do get, my game plan will be different for each one, okay? Now, with that being said, we're going to go, uh, if you guys actually, if you guys haven't yet, man, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe up, and turn on notifications, man. We're on the way to 50K. We're like 300 away, all right? Let's go. Now, as expected, we're going against a PL3 Yan. Problem is, this is the hardest matchup for Jose Aldo. And I'll tell you why. Jose Aldo's greatest strength is kicking legs, right? But Jan has a 95 switch stance. So that makes it much tougher on me whenever I do kick his legs and he just switches stances. Now, can you still opt into kicking his legs? Yes, because his leg health is a 90 or 91, I believe. But personally, guys, this is a battle of... Um, you would hope it'd be five rounds. Hopefully it's five rounds. If it's three rounds, even still attack his body you see he's trying to attack my legs now the only time i will attack his legs um will decide to if i check like two or three of his kicks right with that rear leg now i know that i have his rear leg chopped up a little bit and if i can um 
if I can, you know, start attacking his lead leg, now he switches stance to the leg that's already been catching checks. But for the most part, what we're going to be doing is utilizing that lead, uh, that lead hook, which is a level five strike. Now, not only did that, but it also does, um, okay, he blocks that one. It also does more damage because it's to his open side, essentially his rear side. Now, another strike that we're going to look to utilize is going to be our switch kick. It has a real high base damage. And uh, it's real quick, and again, it lands on his open side. If you guys don't know, a strike landing on the open side actually does more damage to the body. Not a crazy amount, but, you know, just that one, whatever, how much so extra it is, it'll definitely look to be helping us out. But this guy isn't extra aggressive. Uh, again, also, we have level four knees. Just keep that in mind as well. He shoots a takedown. Doom, 98 takedown defense, but here we go. Jab Lee Hook is going to be my combination of choice. Now, you can see that he's made the adjustment to dealing with my Jab Lee Hook. So now what do we do? Well, he has a real good jab, cross, and a Lee Hook. So we can go boom, boom, boom. Now he blocks all of that. Okay. Now let's utilize some feints. See what he's doing, going to do with those. You look at the block. It is staying high. Okay. He's fainting low kicks. He lands a nice kick there. Boom. Lee Body Hook. I miss. Lee Body Hook. I land that one cross lead body hook okay and again he blocks that one there one two lead body hook two and you guys will notice that a pattern that i i don't i kind of i don't cycle through the same combinations but i throw i'll throw this one okay and see how you react to that one and then I'll, based off how you react is how i'll throw my next one switch stance he has his hands low one two three boom one two three followed by two again boom he throws his own combination i get out the way I'm just trying to play careful again from the long range. I'm going to be looking to utilize this switch kick. It has a real high base damage. And again, it lands to the open side. Also, he has a real strong uppercut uh, to the body as well. Also, he has a level four cross. So Aldo, man, you want to play patient. If you can, you, you can mix up with these strikes. Honestly, you can give Jan the, like you can give Jan a run for his money as long as, you know, you don't get put on the back foot too hard and you allow him to just go crazy on your block and now that round one's over uh i assess the situation of what's going on in the fight so right now i know i'm ahead i did a little bit of body work nothing crazy but i landed again five star lead body lead um lead um left hook i can't even get it right lead left hook is going to be level five I threw switch kick, which has a very high base damage. And I also landed about a knee or maybe two. I believe it was just one. But I also landed a cross as well. And just to, you know what I'm saying, really be locked in and zoned in on how much damage I'm doing. So round two starts. We have full cardio. And then our head, everything is fine. Only thing we have really something missing on, it's going to be our leg health. Now this yawn isn't aggressive. Hopefully I can get an uh, aggressive yawn in this video. But you notice that he isn't, also he isn't countering me. So I'm not too worried about, um, you know, him throwing a counter hook. Now, here's something that high level players do and me as well. So if you guys don't know, you, know, you guys throw a body hook, right? And then your opponent blocks and they immediately throws an uppercut. And he's like, bro, they literally land that for free. Well, they actually don't. If you land, like the second you throw the lead body hook, you have enough time to slip or pull back but you don't have enough time to hold, pull your block back up so if I go boom okay he's throwing at the same time as me so I won't be able to time boom see you have enough time to slip immediately after throwing it but you don't have enough time to pull your block back up he's actually chopping my lead leg down but I'm willing to uh you know do a little bit of leg battles or take a little bit of leg damage if I can land nice that was nice right there now he's throwing, uh, being a little bit aggressive. Faints. Switch kick. Now, because he's blocking a lot of my kicks, we can look to, you know, throw something big, especially if he consistently is blocking your kicks. Now here, I land that one, so uh, I don't have a, a great um, assessment on if I think he's going to block the next one because I landed that one, so it's... Not going to take my chances and throw something big and get countered. Okay. We check that kick. And keep in mind, like I said, Jose Otto has steel checks. 
So now, because I, I got that check, now I'll even start throwing in some low kicks just to... Because I, I know I have his body hurting, right? And I can keep going to his body, but now I can give him a, a whole nother look. Uh, because he's thrown a couple leg kicks. I've checked them. And now, I'm going to start attacking his lead leg because he threw those kicks that I checked with his rear leg and now when he switches stances to that rear leg i'll already have damage on it so that just helps me out tremendously faint faints one two low kick using some of that uh muay thai combinations and personally guys i know he has level five muay thai combinations but i don't really find going you know oh he has the 60 combinations the 60th one must be the best one no no, it's not about combinations in this game. It's really not. Um, I know a lot of guys ask, yo, what's some good combos? Now, I, I do have videos that give you guys some exceptional combinations. But personally, it's not about combos, bro. It's about opening opportunities. And this guy's chopping my legs down. Nice check. It's all about finding opportunities, man. And, you know, capitalizing, setting your opponent up. It ain't about, the, oh, you got to throw this combo. That's the combo that matters. No, it's not about that. So, we go to round two, and we see, okay, okay, so we won round two, round one, we, uh, maybe he won that one, but here we go. Now, he's landed some good low kicks on me, uh, I will give him that, but the thing is, he has to be more careful than I do, because now, now I have, I've, uh, you know, did some damage to his lead leg, and then his rear leg. Okay, go to the body hook, lead body hook, jab, cross, lead hook, low kick, low kick. Okay, faints, faints, faints. What is he doing with his block? His block is high, so we go low. Faint, faint. Okay, nice. Jab, cross, lead hook, low kick. Okay, low kick. Throw a front kick there just to mix him up. Okay, I don't want to trade too much with Jan. Got to be careful. He does have my lead leg very low. We land that low kick. And you guys notice, like, I'm not throwing crazy combinations against this guy. Can't, could I? Yeah, I possibly could. Boom, front kick landing clean. Okay, boom. Lead body hook. Okay, he throws a knee. Nice low kick. And, uh... Again, this is the hardest matchup in this division. And you'll even notice, I think this guy has not won a game against me. He hasn't won a game against me, and he's giving me a bit of trouble. Boom, we rock him here. Now, something I personally like to do, guys, is once I like to manipulate and make people think, oh, I'm going to throw a block-breaking combination whenever I rock them. So I'll throw jab-jab cross, right? And then I'll just throw a low kick, especially on Aldo, just to land that free low kick. Uh, you guys can see he's kind of going jab, jab, cross. Being a little bit aggressive. Let's back up. Push him back. Oh, try to push him back. Okay, so he's throwing a lot of jabs and crosses, so we can open up the opportunity to throw like a slip uppercut or a slip uh, hook or even a slip cross. You guys can see. Just walking forward, throwing jabs. I guess, uh, I guess he, boom, kick the leg, boom. Now, again, this is what I was talking about, right? He switches legs, right? But the thing is, he already has damage on that leg. Now, you guys can see, okay, so basically, he's looking like a block breaker right now. And because of that, okay, you want a block break? Take, some, take a couple knees. You want to sit in my face all day? You will take knees. You will. I will throw knees against you if you want to sit in my face and look to break my block. Also, I have elbows as well that I'll definitely be looking to utilize. I'm not going to allow you to just sit in my face and break my block, even when using yarn. Okay? You guys can see my leg is chopped up. Kick that leg. All right, good round. So we kind of got a little bit more aggressive in, uh, versus... 
you know, when the fight first started, he was a little bit more technical, a little bit more slow. But that round, he was throwing a lot of jabs and crosses. And I want to check the stats real quick. As you see, he threw 135 strikes and still didn't land as much as me. And, and he threw 36 more strikes to me. So that's definitely my round. I got to be careful going into this, going into the uh, really the rest of this fight because he's still yawn. And um, my leg isn't looking too good and he could possibly land a high kick or something on me. Okay. Push him back. There we go. You guys can see he's coming forward with the double jazz. And because of that, if I can time, I can throw my cross, which will uh, stop him. You know, stop him in his tracks. There he goes. Yep. Or I can throw my slip crook, uh, slip uppercut that I like to personally use a lot. Jab cross, faint, faint. Back up a little bit, get the low kick. Let's push him. Throw a low kick again. And for anyone that doesn't know how to do that push, you want to hold high block and throw a lead uppercut. So basically, I'm holding high block like this, throw a lead uppercut, and it'll push him back. All right, let's throw a front kick here. Boom. Okay. Check the boom. Uppercut. Okay. To the body to the body now here's the problem now right so i have a lot of head health missing and basically if he catches me with an uppercut it could possibly be devastating so i want to be careful throwing my lead body hooks as you know round one i was real free with it you want to be careful throwing those lead body hooks now because you know you have a you have a lot of head health missing okay Boom, boom, two-piece. Okay. He wants to sit in my face. I'm noticing that. So, I will throw these knees. Okay. Eat a knee. I didn't try to throw that. Yeah. This guy's definitely unlocked his yawn power. And like I said... Even if you're not a good player, personally, you can do good on Yon. Land a counter there. Boom, boom, boom. Two-piece dropped him. Let's throw two knees to the head. We drop him again. Okay, let's throw a low kick. Let's push him back. Oh, I tried to push him back through an elbow on accident. Okay. Now, here's the problem. If you fight face a Yon that is doing what he's doing now... From the beginning of the fight that's where it gets tough honestly and even now it's still tough for me it's still tough for me like I, i'm still he still has the opportunity to knock me out in this fight don't we rock him here let's go to his body to make the fight even harder for him let's back up throw a low kick here okay we drop him All right Gonna let him get back up, throw a low kick, boom, we rock the leg. Now, that's four rounds down, one, one more round to go. <sighs> yeah, guys, this is a tough one, man. This is definitely a tough one, no matter no matter who the player is, man. It's just, Jan is just, his character alone, man, it's just a problem. But here we go. Last round. We're gonna push him back, throw another low kick. We rock the leg. One, two, three, cross again, then back up, throw the low kick again. Let's throw a spinning heel when he gets up. We land it, okay, let's do a flying knee. We land it again, then we're gonna go back to the legs. Go back to the legs, go back to the legs. We're gonna faint, faint, see his hands go high, hands go low. Nice, two piece, drop him. Okay. Faint. Let's see what he's doing with his block. Nice. Boom. We rock the leg. One, two, three. I was going to throw a low kick at the end of that. And now it just gets harder for him. Let's throw a two piece. Faint, 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 faint. Okay. We drop him again. Try to, you know what? Let's try to get a low kick. Never mind. 
<laughs> Never mind. I was going to try to get a low kick finish, but I threw the uppercut, landed, and they got the win there. But yeah. Uh, that's that's how I effectively uh, attacked this Jan. Uh, I would have just straight up been going for body shots, but once I noticed that he he, I checked a couple kicks. I got some rock. Okay, cool. Let's 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 continue attacking the body, but not as much. Now let's switch it up and attack the base, attack the legs. His lead leg was fresh, but that rear leg took some damage. So now he switches stances. Right now, I mean, now we attack the lead leg, and now he switches stances. And it's like, oh, you're switching stance into a leg that has already been taking damage, and I haven't done nothing offensively. All I did was check kicks because Jose Aldo has still checks. And now oh, you're in a predicament where you have to block low, your block, you have to block low kicks because your legs are weak. You have to block body shots because I've been working your body, and now it leaves the opportunity for me to attack your head. Just a nice mix-up, man. I think this first fight was a good fight for me. Uh, I'll try to get another one in for you guys. But if you haven't hit the like button yet, man, do me a favor and hit the like button. I really appreciate it, okay? Let's move forward. I like this matchup. Now, I am 9-0 on this guy, but he's Division 20. He's using Bruce Lee. Now, when you're fighting a Bruce Lee, you kind of got to figure out what type of Bruce Lee are you fighting. Because there's different types. There's crazy Bruce Lees. There's technical Bruce Lees. There's technical crazy ones. So we're going to see how he's going to play. Now, given the fact that he's Division 20, I'm going to assume he's one of those technical but can throw some crazy stuff. So you really want to be careful versus Bruce Lee. Uh, he's fighting on the back foot. Right now, look at his block. His block is low. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack his block. Or just attack up top with just a, like a jab, jab, cross. Just to see what block patterns he does. Right? So jab, jab. Come forward. Just with a jab, jab. Right? Or jab, cross. Just to see what he does. Right? Now, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Jab, cross. His block doesn't go low at all. So what does that tell me? I'm going to go jab, cross. Okay, nice. Nice. Now, he came back with offense. But now, that just tells me, when I, once I get in range, his chances are he's not going to throw, he's not going to block low. So I'm going to look to attack his leg. Now, he just threw a lead round, um, a lead low kick, right? And I checked it. So that did a lot of damage. Boom. But here's the problem. He's Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee is very, has some real good footwork. So you just got to be patient with Bruce Lee because a lot of Bruce Lee players will uh, you know, will bore you to sleep with how they're playing. And you can see he's throwing a back fist. Okay. So it's going to be hard to actually land on Bruce Lee. But here's something that we have an advantage over Bruce Lee is the boxing. We have a real big boxing advantage over Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee's power is only a, uh, a 88. So that's something we can utilize. Okay, so we're throwing knees. I am in his pocket though. I tried to fake that low kick, low kick. Jab, jab. Okay. I'm okay with boxing with Bruce Lee. Uh, this guy's real, real awkward type of style. Ah, see, that's that Bruce Lee. That's that Bruce Lee footwork right there, man. So. I'm going to attack his body. I want to attack his legs. But it's kind of hard because uh, how fast Bruce Lee moves. So we're just going to be looking to, to work the boxing against Bruce Lee. And we can use something like the switch kick. But if we do use a low kick, we want to put something in front of. We don't throw it alone. One, two. Faint. Okay. He's... Okay. And you can see he's been technical. He's throwing knees. He hasn't thrown anything crazy. Okay. Now he's throwing those knees, so I'm going to try to time a sidestep. Okay, now he's just spamming them. <laughs> now he's just spamming them a little bit. Okay, whatever. He switches back to the regular stance. Okay. All right. So after round one, I don't have too much of an assessment on what he's trying to do. He kind of has a weird, funky style, but I do know that um he's throwing a lot of jab or well, back fist. I'm sorry with Bruce Lee, and um he's throwing the knees as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to maybe. Maybe switch it up. Let's look to attack. Instead of attacking the legs, let's attack the body. Because he's shown that he can fight an orthodox and southpaw. Because he did start off in orthodox. So now we're going to attack the body. Uh, 
with the boxing. Boom. Okay. Switch kick. That's something we're definitely going to be looking to utilize. Now, if we can sidestep one of his knees and follow up with a hook, we can do some crazy amounts of damage. Out to the body. Yeah, he's trying to throw a lot of knees. He's trying to get like, I uh, think it's the back fist. It's a cool strike, but it doesn't do much damage at all. Okay. Okay. Switch kick. Let's go to the body. Okay, so he's throwing a lot of back fists, right? So what we're gonna do is look to switch, uh, look to counter them. And he's looking, okay. It's kind of hard, it's so fast. I'm gonna tell you right now, countering that back fist is actually pretty hard because how fast it is. It doesn't give you many opportunities to counter it. And that's why he's spamming it. Body, body. Okay. Go to the body. And again, like I've said before, Bruce Lee doesn't have great boxing. Yeah, that back fist is cool. It can be annoying, but I know it isn't that great. Nice. Switch kick. Ah, oh, he blocked. Okay. Okay. Boom. We throw the round. We're going to throw two knees to the body here. Knee, knee. Punch at the end. Cross. Roundhouse to the body. Okay. Switch kick. Okay. Switch. Flip cross. Boom. We rock him here. Let's go. Body. Body. Oh, I tried to attack his body. Oh, there we go. We get the rock. Let's go uppercut, then to the body. Pushing back with the front kick. Think. He does a knee. Oh, man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to get me out of here with these knees. Okay. All right. So yeah, this guy's kind of spamming these. I, I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, not be like, oh yeah, he's just spamming these. But yeah, he's definitely spamming these, bro. <laughs> he's definitely spamming these. Okay, so here we go. I do know his body health is not looking good. So. Okay. Cross roundhouse to the body. Okay. Doesn't knee. So yeah. Go to the body. Go to the body. Okay. Throw my own knee. Okay. I want to be careful. Switch kick. One, two, three to the body. Cross. Right house to the oh, I missed it. Okay. I'm just not trying to let those back fists annoy me because I know uh, a lot of people will get frustrated by his play style and what he's doing with these back fists. But what I'm doing is just trying to keep it, keep it uh, calm with what he's doing with these back fists. Switch kick. I miss it. Okay, yep, there goes the, the knee. Okay. Go to the body. Boom, we rock him here, body. Try to go to the body there. He's trying to take me down. I'm not really sure why he's doing this here, because he's Bruce Lee, but 
I mean, I'll take it. Do a fakes. He passes up. Okay. We get to the guard. He passes up. Okay. Now we don't have too much stamina left, and it's mainly because the knees that he's throwing. And I'm also missing some kicks. Fakes. Let's look for a posture up. There it goes. Oh. No, I messed up. I messed up bad. I could have submitted him right there. There we go. Ah. He goes here. Then when he goes top mount. Let's get out of top. Oh, bad. That, that's bad right there. Boom. We was able to deny that. Okay. All right. So this is going to be tough for me. This is going to be extremely tough because what he's doing and how he's playing. Okay. Here we go. So, I want to attack his body. But I got to be careful. Because, uh, see what I mean? Because he's going to throw that knee. Yeah, that knee is going to be there for him. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it goes a knee. Now nah, he's spamming these. We catch him there. Body, body. Okay. There we go. Yeah, man. This is tough. This is tough. This is definitely tough. I expected better. I expected better from a Bruce. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, not too much I could have done with this. I know somebody's going to be like, all you had to do was this, but this was... Extremely cheesy, extremely. Che and I, and the back fist, I wasn't you know really too worried about. It was the it was the consistent knee spamming that I you know I, I had a problem with. But hey, it is what it is, man. I'm not gonna cry about it. Uh, EA Sports is in the game. I'm nine and zero on this guy. That was his first win on me, so it is what it is. But I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. I'd rather not play another game because I don't want the video to be too long. And on top of that, I don't want to possibly go against another you know essentially cheeser. But it is what it is, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe up, and turn on post notifications, man. Sorry I couldn't get this win for y'all. I tried to do what I could do with, you know, utilizing body shots, but uh, I couldn't get it in, man. I, I definitely couldn't get it in. And I wasn't going to shoot takedowns with Aldo and stuff like that. But, hey, peace out, y'all. Stay up, stay blessed. Keep moving forward. Love you, boys. Peace.